Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 22635.2552, which is released to the beta channel, starting with this build. As a reminder, all Windows Insiders in the beta channel will now be on the same build, build 22635, via an enablement package. For Windows Insiders in the beta channel who want to be the first to get features gradually rolled out to you, you can turn on the toggle to get the latest updates as they are available via Settings, Windows Update. Over time, Microsoft will increase the rollouts of features to everyone with the toggle turned on. Going forward, Microsoft will document changes in beta channel builds in two buckets, new features, improvements, and fixes that are being gradually rolled out for insiders who have turned on the toggle to get the latest updates as they are available and then new features, improvements, and fixes available to everyone in the beta channel. Please note that for today's flight to the beta channel, there are no new features or improvements rolling out specifically for insiders who have turned on the toggle. Now moving forward, and talking about the changes and improvements gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel, for settings, system components currently listed in settings, apps, installed apps page, have moved to its own page under settings, system, system components. Xbox game bar is now game bar under settings, gaming. So, this was the only changes and improvements in this build. Moving forward, and talking about the fixes for everyone in the beta channel. This update adds new customization options for dynamic lighting OEMs. You can now customize OS images for new PCs. This includes setting up dynamic lighting defaults. This update supports the currency change in Croatia from the Kuna to the Euro. This update addresses an issue that affects cellular settings. The name of the mobile operator is wrong. This update addresses an issue that occurs after you run a push button reset. You cannot set up Windows Hello Facial Recognition. This affects devices that have Windows Enhanced Sign-In Security ESS, turned on. This update addresses an issue that affects fontdrivehost.exe. It stops responding when you use Compact Font Format Version 2 CFF2, fonts. This update addresses an issue that affects Windows Mixed Reality. Microsoft Store stops responding when you try to access it using Windows Mixed Reality headsets. This update addresses an issue that affects the widget's notification badge. It is in the wrong position on the taskbar. This update addresses an issue that affects PowerShell versions greater than 7.3.1. It might block scripts and not let them run in constrained language mode. This occurs when you turn on AWDAC policy. This update addresses an issue that affects the automatically hide the taskbar setting. You cannot set it using the Shapbar message. This update changes the English name of the former Republic of Turkey. The new Official name is the Republic of Turkiya. This update addresses an issue that affects devices on which you have defined Windows Information Protection WIP, policies and set up a proxy. A stop error occurs. This happens on devices that use Microsoft Defender Application Guard. In the past, VIP was known as Enterprise Data Protection EDP. This update addresses a memory leak in Kfman.exe. This update addresses an issue that occurs when you use Universal Print to add a printer using its location. When you browse the tree view structure, the tree nodes do not work as you expect. This update supports Daylight Saving Time DST, changes in to learn more, see interim guidance for Syria DST changes 2022. This update addresses an issue that affects the device management DM, client. The sync session takes longer than you expect for the enrollment status page ESP. This update addresses an issue that affects touchscreens. They do not work properly when you use more than one display. This update addresses an issue that affects the Windows Firewall Profile. When you are on a domain authenticated network, it detects a public domain. This is wrong. This update addresses an issue that affects Outlook. It stops responding. This occurs when you print to an Internet Printing Protocol IPP, printer that has a slow response time. This update addresses a memory leak in text input host.exe. This update addresses an issue that affects RoboCopy. The slash EFSRW switch stops it from copying data properly. This update addresses an error that occurs when you print using V4 print drivers. This update improves the performance of the search box experience. This update addresses a firewall configuration service provider CSP, issue. It stops a device from syncing. This update makes country and operator settings asset COSA, profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. This update addresses an issue that blocks external connections. This occurs when you set up a Kubernetes load balanced service and turn on session affinity. This update addresses an issue that affects dynamic lighting. The default provider is not applied as expected. 
This occurs when you set it up using unattend files. This update addresses an issue that affects File Explorer. It stops responding. This occurs when you use Microsoft OneDrive. This update addresses an issue which could cause Explorer.exe to crash when snapping or moving windows which were part of snap groups. This update addresses an issue which causes File Explorer to go unresponsive when using the option to browse for an app from the Open With dialog. The hang occurred if you tried to use the search box in the window while an email was active, so that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.